Hi, this is Sam from Exam PA. This lesson will cover a very important topic in linear models known as interactions. This also extends to all types of models, such as tree-based models. However, it's explicitly used um, in uh, linear models because you need to specify them in your model formula. What is an interaction? This is when the impact that a variable has on the target variable is different depending on the, vari the value of another variable that's in the model. Let's say that you are predicting whether or not you will pass an actuarial exam. The two variables that you're using are the amount of sleep that you've gotten the prior night and the amount of time that you've put into the current study session. Let's say that you have only gotten three hours of sleep. Now, if you're working, um, you know, for a long period of time, studying, 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 it won't make much of a difference because your brain's already turned off. However, if you have gotten a lot of sleep, let's say you've had nine hours, then you can put in a really long period of time. You can study for five or seven hours. You could just take the entire day to study and that would really help you to improve your score. That would be an example of two numeric variables interacting. The amount of time that you've spent studying and the amount of sleep from the exam. There is also a factor and factor interaction. This is where you have you know, two uh, factor variables like your, um, the city that you live in. You know, it could be Detroit or New York or Los Angeles and the kind of car that you drive, you know, a Dodge, a Toyota or a Ferrari, let's say. In other words, you have, you know, categories that relate to each other. Um, and then finally, you have a factor and a numeric variable that can interact. Like you might have, you know, a binary variable if you've had coffee or not and the number of hours that you've spent studying. The way to, to tell or to detect uh, which of these are present in your data uh, really comes down to looking at graphs. If you're looking for uh, factor and numeric variables, it's best to look at box plots or uh, violin plots or other types of uh, distributional graphs. If you're looking for numeric and factor interactions, you'll want to look at scatter plots or other types of line plots and then um, segment them based on the category or the factor variable. If you're looking for numeric, numeric interactions, unfortunately, there's no convenient graph that will help you do that. What you can do, though, is use a tree-based model that will automatically detect those interactions and then go back to your linear model and uh, code them into the formula. So that's all for this lesson. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe so that you'll get the latest updates on exam PA and it will help the YouTube algorithm to get this video content out to all actuaries who are preparing for PA.